At 9 o'clock, the owner of a dog named Mitchell says the pup was targeted and killed. Shot a total of 10 times with a pellet gun. It happened at a home over in the Kingwood Manor subdivision, which is in Kingwood. And that's where we find Fox 26's Randy Wallace live with us. Yeah, Rashi, the Precinct 2 Animal Cruelty Task Force is investigating the shooting death of the standard poodle named Mitchell. He was not the only dog in the backyard last Thursday, but the only one that got shot repeatedly. I'm devastated, you know. How do you explain that to a seven-year-old kid? How do you tell him, hey, you know, somebody walked up and shot your dog? It happened last Thursday at this home in Kings Manor between 8.45 and 10.45 in the morning. You've got a park across the street. Yeah, there's there was no school. You there. would think that somebody saw somebody something. Somebody should have seen something, absolutely. I mean, the, the dog was shot 10 times with a pellet gun, and you could only imagine the torture that it went through. Aww. Chris Kennedy says it was no accident. The standard poodle belonged to his daughter and seven-year-old grandson. He doesn't even want to play in the backyard now. He doesn't even want to be here. My daughter's worried about these people coming back. Come here and meet some new friends. This golden doodle named Stevie and five puppies were also in the backyard. They weren't shot. Mitchell was struck with 10 pellets. So they've got to stop, pump, load, shoot again. Mitchell's killer had to be in the driveway, Kennedy says. A shot through Mitchell's eye socket penetrated his brain. We just can't act this way. Pretend for a minute you're, instead of me standing here, as the person who did this. What would you say to them? Randy, if, if that person was standing there, you wouldn't be standing there. I'm kind of old school on that kind of stuff. If it was you, there be, would, wouldn't be too many more words. I'm an old man, but I tell you what, uh, this kind of behavior just, uh, it's just unthinkable. There is a $1,000 reward being offered for the, to, for the arrest and conviction of the person that killed Mitchell. Now, if you saw anything last Thursday, text or call Chris Kennedy at 832-643-3300. We'll have that phone number for you a little later tonight on our website. Reporting live from Kingwood, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.